Yeah, right now what we're doing is we're, uh, we replaced the first, uh, break in oil. Um, so, got a new filter. Uh, we always put the filter over there in the vise to do an oil, uh, oil filter inspection. Look for anything that shouldn't be there. You know, in other words, bearing material. Uh, don't expect to see anything bad. And so right now what we're doing is we're just preparing for a lot more power. Uh, 16 pounds of boost, 1,237 horsepower, 18 degrees of timing. Had a lot more in it because the, the peak power and torque is happening at the RPM we just shut the dyno down at. So if we ran it to 7,700, you know, the power numbers would just keep continuing to build. And so we know at 16 PSI, we probably have a lot more power in there. Intercooler, I mean, that thing is keeping the intake air temperatures to whatever the water temperatures are. So we're seeing intake air temperatures at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you know, the craziest thing was that uh, for the whole duration, the initial dyno hits yesterday, Martin didn't have the, the water on for the intercooler, and we were seeing 90 degree intake air temps. In fact, after all those big power pulls, we came out here, the cold side was actually cool to the touch, just warm, you know, but you could put your hand on the, the compressor housing. Uh, this was a little bit cooler just because, uh, you know, the air coming out of here is going to be cooler. So I look forward to this in the car, um, but uh, today is all about making power. We're going to go live with Engine Builder Magazine. Um, waiting on Diego, he's supposed to bring a boost controller, but I have one here too. So he has an AEM, I have a, a Turbo Smart E-Boost 2 uh, that I'll be installing on a customer car, but I can go ahead and you know, hook it up now and just kind of test it out. So. Now, if you take a look at these really badass 50 millimeter Turbo Smart wastegates, uh, they came uh, with the fittings already kind of in there. But if you take a look, see how you got those two uh, ports on the, the bottom of the wastegate. I did not know that these wastegates came water cooled. And so what I had done was I had put a fitting instead of here, here. And so what was happening is we're getting the boost source uh, right here off the charge pipe going to one wastegate since that's kind of a common uh, volume I just went from here to the other wastegate and to the boost controller, right? Well wrong because this fitting that's now here was here in the water jacket And so what was happening is the boost was only being controlled by one wastegate, you know, kind of overworking the other turbo but more importantly it gave us no boost control because uh, the <laughs> The boost controller, you know, was uh, doing its duty cycle thing, but it was actually getting no um, pressure since this was dead end right here. Uh, this was connected here, so the boost controller wasn't doing anything. So even when we hooked up a manual controller, it's like, what's going on? Where's the leak? And so uh, it was actually Diego's like, ah, it's the problem with the wastegate. Look at this one; it's it's discolored. That one is uh, not discolored, and so. Uh, he was right on the money, you know, I was adamant, I was right, I'm like, no, we got the bottom ports, it's going here, and, um, but then uh, I looked up the actual instructions, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is a water port, that is not another uh, convenient uh, boost port. So, uh, all that said, you know, everything is perfectly uh, operational now, and so the boost controller works. Um, now what we have is no boost creep at all. Uh, off the wastegate, it makes about 11 and a half pounds of boost, which is uh, good for well over a thousand or 1100 horsepower or something like that. And then um, we can now turn the boost up. So what happened there, Martin? We got some boost, son! <laughs> Yeah, right. after a little, a little fix on the wastegates, now everything is working perfect. Seventeen hundred and nineteen horsepower, fourteen. Oh, 
dyno. Um, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of valuable life experiences. Um, you know, the results were uh, you know on par with the expectation. Has a lot left in it. I mean, we basically ran out of injector and duty cycle. 29 pounds of boost, uh, 1,700, 19 horsepower, 1,444 foot-pounds of torque, uh, and the pulls were just 6,200 RPMs, and that's where it made peak power. Also only 15 degrees of timing on uh, C16. Uh, we ran C16 because um, we switched the computer last minute, we're having some issues. I'm excited about it. Uh, the motor's healthy, happy, sealed up, you know, for not even really having a lot of ventilation, it wasn't having a lot of blow-by or anything, I mean, it wasn't spitting oil, you know, the turbos work phenomenally, they spool up really hard, pretty much, you know, peak boost by 4,000, they, they make boost in the 3,000, 2,000 RPM range, so I don't know, it's not going to really be a very laggy combination, everything's very free breathing, so. 406 cubic inches, mm -hmm. nice budget build, you know, couldn't ask for more.